Here's the problem. The narcissist inside himself has voices, other voices, and these voices keep informing the narcissist that he's unworthy, he's inferior, he's bad, he's inadequate, he's a loser, he's a failure, etc., etc. And when you talk to the narcissist, the narcissist ex experiences your speech as if it were coming from inside his head, and therefore as if it were a part of the bad object. The overwhelming vast majority of voices in the narcissist's head are hostile. Because he perceives your speech as an internal voice, he begins to see you as an enemy. The minute you talk to the narcissist, you trigger in him an internal voice which is indistinguishable from the other self-loathing, self-rejecting, self-hating, sadistic internal voices. He assumes the worst. He expects the worst. Any verbal interaction with anyone can cause narcissistic injury. And if done in public, it could cause narcissistic modification. The narcissist reframes your text to conform to his narrative. When he is in the stage of idealization during the shared fantasy, your speech is proof positive that you're perfect, you can do no wrong. When he is in the devaluation stage, your speech is proof positive how dull and dumb you are, how conspiring and untrustworthy. Same speech. He reframes it one way and then exactly the opposite way in order to support narratives embedded in the shared fantasy. So your speech is mangled, <laughs> mangled, molested, mutilated to the point of unrecognizability. Only in order to conform to the narrative, to support it, to buttress it and to prove it beyond doubt. The shared fantasy is above all else. Whatever you say that does not conform to the narcissist's narrative is dead in the water long before it has reached the narcissist's ears. Of course, the narcissist never, never recalls what you have said, never remembers what you have said. Of course, the narcissist contests your memory, disagrees with you on what you have said. He has heard something completely different in his mind. He recreates your speech in his mind because your speech is internal, because you are an internal object.